Hi, Tony Silza here. Welcome to the line. We got Tim Metzer from Differential out of Cincy, another really cool company. D moving mobility into the next decade, right? I mean, th this this paradigm shift where people were thinking that that mobile was just going to be uh, a new thing that the internet had to do, right? That the web was going to have to come to that. Really, it's a paradigm shift. You got to start there and move to the web. I mean, we have officially got there, right? Yeah. Mobile getting and that whole Google <laughs> thing that's coming down the pipe, right? But the reality is we're using our phone out. And that's what your company is really about is, is teaching these mid-market businesses how to, how, to, how, to, how to differentiate their business model and really kind of evolve to that next stage. Is that fair? Yeah, I think so. I think it's becoming an increasingly important part of kind of who we are and what we do. Um, I would say we started actually primarily just focused on web. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because you know most of the companies we talked to early on needed a web early MVP, minimum viable mm -hmm. product for mm -hmm. their company. Um, so I would say that was, I don't know, two and a half years ago. The shift even in two and a half years is crazy where it is very seldom today we meet someone who wants just a web or really wants or needs just a web product, right? right? right. So if you're launching um, even just an MVP as a startup today, right. um, almost inevitably you need both web and mobile, right? So um, you're probably launching on web plus iOS or web plus Android, or in some cases, all three platforms. Right. Um, so it, it became really important for us to figure out how can we efficiently and cost effectively do that, help companies do that. Well, and, and I think what, what is awesome about what you guys are doing is um, you've not only found um, the hacks that, that are needed in order to launch on all those three platforms at yeah. the same time simultaneously, but you're also getting in there early on the strategy side and yeah. helping them develop the why. Yeah. Why do they care? Why, how is this user going to interface with this? How does this change your business? Right. How, does, how, do, how can you engage the customer in whole new ways? Are there value points that you can provide to them that didn't exist before? Yeah. And that's where you know disruption happens. And that's where yeah. unfair competitive advantage happens. And if you're an organization today, you know this frontier, that phone, can be a way to revolutionize your industry. Is that fair? Yeah, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. Um, it's kind of funny. I always joke that I'm sort of a bad salesman in a lot of ways because if I meet someone who's at like the napkin idea stage who hasn't mm -hmm. built anything yet, um, I often spend a lot of time coaching them on why they shouldn't pay differential or anyone to build their product yet because they haven't truly validated the concept. And <laughs> you know, one of the things I always say is um, fall in love with the problem, not the solution, right? Mm -hmm. So really do a deep dive into does the world need, really want and need um, the product that, mm -hmm. that you're talking about or, or an answer to the problem that mm -hmm. you have. And taking that a step further, uh, am I willing to actually get out my wallet and pay for this solution, right? right? right. So can I build a business around it right. regardless of whether or not um, you know there's, there's, a, there's a problem? There still has to be, you know, it's the whole vitamin versus painkiller, right? And, so, and, and I think, Tim, what is powerful is you, you've taken that startup um, your startup roots, your startup disciplines, your lean startup kind of methodology, right. and you're now applying these to these breakthrough companies, these companies that, that are maybe mid-market, that are maybe big companies, and you're showing them how to get something out in an agile method that 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 is engaging a user pain, right? And, yep. and that's really, that's the power of that startup mentality being brought to these new spaces. That's what differential is evolving to, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I wish I could say I planned it that way, but, you know, it's sort of sometimes better lucky than good. Um, in this case, we just started getting inbound interest from companies of all sizes, really, that said, hey, we love, number one, kind of the, the great team you have in your startup groups and your ability to kind of quickly execute and test mm -hmm. concepts. Um, and, and number two, just the way you treat every project like a startup. And we know that we could spend a year and a million dollars if you're a huge company building something internally. Um, but we'd probably not learn what we need to learn and, and we wouldn't move fast enough. So mm -hmm. the whole fail fast, fail cheap thing, like it's not uh, it's not a natural thing for a, even a mid-sized company, let alone a large company to do. And so for us to come and not just be a, a development shop, mm -hmm. but actually be um, sort of consultants and help you figure out like, how do you quickly test this concept? Like, let's kill it quick if it's mm -hmm. bad or at least get to a point where you need to iterate mm -hmm. and get to a, the right solution. So that has resonated really well with uh, you know all size companies. I, I really. totally see how you guys have differentiated and become the differential, <laughs> right? No exactly pun intended. Right, yeah. Thanks so much for being yeah, on the show, it's man. It's a pleasure.